What's going on YouTube? Will back with Royal Canadian Reptiles. As you may notice, we are in a brand new building. Uh, this has been a project that we took on this summer. Uh, we were completely out of space in the old building and we needed more space to sort of achieve our goals. Uh, anyways, there's going to be an entire uh, video coming about the, the building, what we did, what we changed, all that sort of thing. But uh, today I just want to get into some of the, the hatchlings that we, we hatched out in 2022. I haven't shown YouTube any of the, the new hatchlings. There is a bunch of really cool stuff, stuff I'm really, really excited to have hatched and really pumped to share with you guys. So honestly, we're just going to get right into snakes in this video. The building stuff can wait. I know what you guys want to see. You guys want to see some cool stuff. Let's look at, you know, I, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna, in no order, I'm just gonna pick out some, some highlights of the year and we're just gonna take a look at those. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right guys, so uh, as you can see, we got the wall of babies behind us. Uh, I kind of have this separated into my whole box and the stuff that is, you know, majority of it's already sold, but um, that's the stuff that was available. And these are the, these are my whole backs. We're gonna pull out of both, uh, both sections because there's some really cool stuff that was available that I think really looked cool and maybe I didn't end up keeping it, but it was a really, really, um, you know, really badass looking animal. But uh, we're gonna pull majority out of my whole back stuff. There will be some out of the available, was available section. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. All right guys, so here we've got a uh, pastel desert ghost pied male that we managed to hatch this year. Uh, absolutely stunning animal. They, the, the, the DG Pied stuff, you know, I, I give Pied a bit of a hard time, but uh, Pied is really incredible. Um, <laughs> it, the, the, my, my big problem with Pied is I feel like you do end up running into a bit of a, bit of a brick wall. Um, you know, you're, a lot of the Pied combos give you really, really high white, and you know, it is, a, it, it is what it is. But with that said, the pie combos up until that point are going to be incredible. And there is still tons to do with it. I mean, this is just pastel desert ghost pied and it's such an incredible animal. Look how clean, clean those, that, that dorsal is. The, it's just, just an absolutely incredible animal. He's being a little bit shy right now. Um, that nice head. There's your uh, pastel DG pied. Very, very pretty animal. Okay, here's a combo that, uh, you know, it just works. Uh, it's not an overly complicated combo, but this is a Cypress Red Stripe, and this one's Het Clown. I I'd seen these made before. Uh, this was my first year producing them, and I was really happy to have made them. Um, they just have such an awesome look. Wicked, wicked color on them. They have almost like this red, uh, it's hard to, hard to, like a rust kind of color. Great side pattern you know, cypress and red stripe together. And then you get this awesome dorsal stripe back over to really cool rusty red colors. Uh, I think there's a lot that can be done with this specific sort of platform. Uh, there's just, it's an incredible amount of stuff. This, this boy is actually spoken for, um, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely a project that I'm going to be working further in. Uh, I, Honestly, I, I want to see like this stuff in like DG Hypo. Um, you know, I know the market's very focused on clown, 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 and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Clown's incredible, but it's not the only gene out there. And that's just something I want to kind of emphasize that I, I, th I think there's a lot more to be done than just basing everything off of clown. Uh, again, don't take that as, I, oh, I hate clown. That's couldn't be furthest from the truth, but it, it is not the only thing out there. And I think some of these platforms will do better with, with some different stuff in them. Um, yeah, this in clown is gonna be incredible. So there, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's hard to knock it. It's a, it's a great gene. But uh, yeah, that's the Cypress Red Stripe, 100% hat clown, super pretty. All right, here we move on to a pastel blackhead desert ghost. Um, honestly, I really like this combo. It really darkens up that head and it really brings in a lot more really rich, rich blacks. Uh, the, also, the thing I noticed with this is that it's not as much of a yellow, it's more of an orange. So 
I, I'm not 100% sure. This actually could be yellow belly as well, but uh, I, it's hard for me to say on that one. Really like the way that this combo turned out. Um, definitely, definitely gonna be working some more blackhead desert ghost stuff in the future. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a really cool animal. It's, the, the, it's hard to describe, but that yellow is more of an orange than a yellow. It's like a, ah, man, I can't even describe the, the something to compare it to. It's, a, it's, it's like a burnt yellow almost, if that makes sense. So we're definitely getting some, some color change from the blackhead. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get into some more of the Blackhead DG stuff. This season, definitely gonna see a bunch of Blackhead DG stuff. Uh, hopefully we see some you know, Blackhead Desert Ghost Clown combos. This year was a really bad year for DG Clowns. Pretty much everything that I had hoped to go didn't. So uh, that's, that's just the name of the game, you know? You can't, can't rush it. They'll go when they're ready. And uh, the, you know, getting them to reproduce is not always the easiest thing. It's not super difficult, but it's, you know, just requires a lot of patience. But uh, yeah, that's a pastel blackhead, Desert Ghost. Keeping with the blackhead theme, and actually Desert Ghost theme, this is what I believe to be a blackhead chocolate banana Mojave Desert Ghost. And this little girl is just awesome. I love the color that you're getting from this and how clean it is. It's a, it's got like this, almost like this, like, it's like, it's trying to like glow on the sides. It's this weird, oh man. It's like almost like a, you know, like a, 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 a really pretty sunset sky. It's got that like oranges going up to like the purples. It's a very, very, very soft, very cool looking animal. I, I was honestly, I was not that big on the banana DG stuff. Uh, I, I, on its own, it's not that incredible, to be honest. It's a very soft, clean banana. But the, the second we started to stack some, some really impactful genes that work well with banana, obviously, you know, Blackhead, Chocolate, and Mojave, they all work well with banana. And then put the DG on top, it, it just created this like awesome, like almost blue, it has some, some some blues coming in. I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this keep this animal and you know just just work with it. See what else see what else sort of comes from this this direction. And uh, I don't know. We might end, might end up with some really cool looking animals. I mean, this one alone is really awesome. I'd love to get like you know this this with a super orange dream and really pop those oranges and keep that purple. I think DG may be, you know, as crazy as it sounds, DG and banana it may be the thing that allows you to hold that purple right into adulthood. Um, tough to say, but uh, this has a DG Hypo. Oh man, just, just an awesome looking animal. So that's what I believe is a uh, banana chocolate blackhead Mojave Desert Ghost. Okay, here we move on to some tri-stripe stuff. We've sort of lost the, uh, the tri-stripe and now it's into just a single stripe. But this is an Orange Dream Enchi Vanilla tri-stripe and this one's 50% Het Desert Ghost. I missed on the DG on the last, the DG tri-stripes this year, um, but we did end up with this boy. Uh, really, really awesome, really awesome snake. And what I've noticed with tri-stripe is it really tends to hold color really well. Uh, this, you know, Orange Dream Enchi Vanilla would definitely be a bright combo, but generally like it, it, it's really cleaned stuff up. You're, you've really lost a lot of the, the sort of the freckles. I mean, it still definitely has some. Desert Ghost will clean that right up for sure. But uh, I, I wanna get some more pattern stuff into, into Tri-Stripe. Obviously color, we know that's a, a no brainer. That's gonna work really well. But uh, some, more some more pattern stuff into, into Tri-Stripe would be really cool. I'm gonna work on getting a, like Hurricane Hurricane, spot nose, leopard, you know, all those, those, uh, those staple uh, pattern, pattern changing genes in, into the project. But uh, until then, I, I'm super happy hatching stuff like this. Um, really, really cool, really cool animal. So Orange Dream, Enchi, Vanilla, tri stripe. So guys, here we move on to a darker combo. Something actually that turned out really, really awesome. Uh, and this is a Wookiee Cypress Leopard. And this one is 100% Het Clown. Uh, but just the, the incredible, incredible colors that we ended up getting with, uh, 
with Wookiee and Cypress. Now this will be uh, an allelic combo. We know Wookiee is allelic with spot nose. We know Cypress is allelic with spot nose, which in turn means Wookiee and Cypress will be allelic. Um, so this, this will end up being an allelic combo, but definitely something I think I'm going to work further on. Um, this is just a absolutely incredible animal. The, the blacks have just kept getting better and better and better. Uh, this is, I mean, I don't really work with Ultramel or, or really any T positive for that matter, but this is almost like a no brainer for Ultramel. Uh, such, such dark blacks. This would, this would translate really well into that. But, uh, yeah, absolutely incredible, incredible looking animal. Super happy to have hatched this. And uh, I mean, it's gonna take a little bit of work to make this in the clown. We're gonna have to put Wookie, Wookie clown or Cypress clown back to it. Probably Wookie because the Wookie doesn't have a, um, any issues with the super where the Cypress, you know, you can definitely get into some wobbly stuff. But uh, we'll end up putting a, some sort of Wookie clown combo back to this and hopefully make this as a Wookie Cypress you know, maybe hurricane, uh, clown. I, I think this animal is just incredible. Here's another animal that I was actually really impressed with. Uh, this is a genetic striped clown, uh, female. This is, this is also a hundred percent hat for desert ghost, but I gotta, I gotta be honest here. When I, first saw the G-Stripe Clown stuff, and when I had seen some of the, the, the prior combos, I wasn't all that impressed. And what it took was hatching one myself to, to really see the, what, what, what this combo brings to the table. Uh, it's easy to just bypass stuff and you know, really write stuff off through, through pictures, but when you see them in, in the flesh and you hatch them yourself, you, you just get this kind of newfound respect for, for what they are. And I, I think this, this, this platform has a lot of potential. Um, I am slightly worried about our ability to change its pattern up too much. You know, G-Stripe is a very, very, very strong pattern changing gene. However, it, it almost tends to dominate uh, combos. Now, Clown, Clown obviously is another amazing pattern changing gene. I have yet to be seen if we can really, really start to manipulate these patterns, but I don't really see any reason why we wouldn't be able to. It, it really is going to depend which wins, um, the G-Stripe or the Clown in the combo, right? If, if the G-Stripe ends up winning, you may end up like, this is your new base and this is kind of, you know, you're not going to be able to manipulate this too much. If Clown is the, the more dominant gene in this pairing, then yeah, we're going to be able to, uh, to manipulate the crap out of it. But uh, yeah, genetic stripe Clown, 100% Het Desert Ghost. I love the solid colored heads. Really, really cool. Only one I hit this year, had a few pairings for them. Uh, these double recessive animals are definitely not easy to make. And then obviously having it 100% Het Desert Ghost uh, makes that just that much more difficult to do. But beautiful animal too. Okay, so here we've got a pastel chocolate clown. I know, I know, pastel clown, boo. But ever since I saw the first pastel chocolate clown made, I wanted to make one. Um, and we finally have done that. Uh, this could have been a desert ghost, but it's not. This one actually is a pastel chocolate clown, and this one is double hat for desert ghost and pied. So really, I mean, power packed, power packed animal. I love the look of this, this, this combo. Uh, as babies, they look incredible. I mean, I think if we get into like, you know, some DG hypo versions of this, and it does not want to sit still for us. If we get into some DG Hypo versions of this, I think it's just gonna be absolutely nuts. Because the, the cool thing with this combo is it does have really good black edging, which the Desert Ghost will, will definitely like utilize. It'll definitely take that and, and jack that up. But then it also has this blushed out center of the, of the dorsal stripe, and the Hypo is gonna really accentuate that. So I, I don't know, I think this could make a really, really cool uh, DG Hypo clown. Um, but until we get to that point, I'm definitely happy growing this girl up and we'll, you know, maybe we, maybe we end up getting the chocolate DG Clown Pies. I have no idea what that'll look like, but uh, I, I can't see it being, being a bad thing to hatch. <laughs> so yeah, that's a pastel chocolate clown and that is Double Hat, Desert Ghost and Pied. 
Here we'll move on to the last one for the, for the video. Uh, you may have noticed we haven't shown you any puzzle stuff yet. There is a, gonna be a separate video just for that stuff. But this is a Hurricane Desert Ghost, and this one is Double Hat Genetic Stripe and Clown. So this could go right back to that G-Stripe uh, DG, sorry, that G-Stripe Clown Hat DG girl that we showed you, and we would have a pretty good shot at making Hurricane Desert Ghost G-Stripe Clowns. Like I said, I wanna get pattern into the G-Stripe Clown stuff, uh, see what it really does. Obviously color is going to be incredible, but, um, but yeah, I love, I love how clean this thing is. Just like, you, just incredible looking animal. Hurricane gives you all these little swirlies and kind of kind of just a bizarre overall, overall funky pattern. But uh, yeah, that's a Hurricane Desert Ghost. Let's just put them down. Hurricane Desert Ghost, and that is Double Het, Genetic Stripe, and Clown. All right, guys, cheers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I mentioned, there's gonna be a bunch more videos coming. We've got a new space, a ton of new, uh, you know, area to work in. Uh, it's, the space is an absolute luxury and I feel super, super pumped to have all this space to, to be able to show you guys some new stuff. Uh, anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, do your thing, uh, and we will see you guys next week. Cheers.